just wanted to really quickly introduce myself because I think it's really tricky when we are just chatting um, for you to be able to get to know me and it would be great if we do end up working together and it's nice to know who that you who you'd be working with isn't it um, because um, if you start your Osborne bookshop then you will have myself as your mentor um, so yeah it would be nice to, for you to know who exactly Mel is <laughs> I joined Osborne about seven years ago when my children were one and three and they are now uh, eight and ten um, and so yeah we have looked at lots and lots of Osborne books together we have read our way through lots of the catalogue which is indeed quite big I've just got one here actually because I've just placed an order and I was just looking for anything that I'd not seen before I wanted some brand new shiny bits to take to a school that I'm working with so I wanted to very first run through the basics of being an Osborne partner. Um, my number one love of it, apart from the books, which are fantastic, is that it gives me flexibility and freedom. So I can work with my books when I want, I can work with them where I want. So if I want to work with schools, I can. If I want to work with toddler groups, I can. If I want to sell on social media, I can. Um, so depending on what's going on in life or how old my children are, um, I can do different things. So when they were younger, I used to take my books to soft play or toddler groups and things like that. As they've got older, I've started working with more schools um, and different things like that. Yeah, so my interests have changed as the children have um, got older as well. And I guess that just is because I've been able to do different things or they've then started liking older children's books. So I've started working with them more. Um, and yeah, my interests have changed as well. We have never had any family support because my husband is in the military. And so um, we have never lived close by to family, which means anything that I do has to 100% be around the children. I can't rely on anybody else or on if daddy will be home or what have you. Um, so that is why the freedom and flexibility of Osborne really work for us um, and also I love it's nice to get out and about to all these different things it's good to sell on social media but it's really good to have a conversation with a human being that's not a child <laughs> um, at baby and toddler groups or um, one of my favorite events has always been at the swimming pool um, I would go to the swimming pool the first Saturday of every month and we've recently moved and it's too far away now. I'm looking to replace my little first Saturday of every month event. Um, and yeah, I would do amazing sales there and it'd be great to chat to different people. So you literally can sell your books wherever you want. You earn 24% commission on your sales, which is fab. And you also can get lots of freebies as well, which my children, as you can probably imagine, think they need all of. Uh, I give them some and I sell some for 100% profit. You can do whatever you want. So if you've got little ones, you can start building their um, bookshelves. Um, or you, I was a bit mean to begin with. I didn't give any to the children to begin with because I wanted to go and do some affairs because I joined in July. And so I wanted um, more books to take out and about. So any freebies that I got, I, um, I kept for my stock. <laughs> um, so that I got more books to take to places with me. Um, when you get started, you um, get a starter kit, which has got 18 books in it, a couple of catalogues, um, lots of leaflets, and you've got everything, you are good to go. So you've got lots of different books in your kit so that um, it appeals to different people, like you'll have a That's Not My Book. Everyone knows good old That's Not My with the sensory patches. It won't necessarily be That's Not My T-Rex. This is just one that I had sat next to me. Um, um, but yeah, we all know and love um good old that's not my books don't we you get one of them in your kit so you can show customers what they're like um then for example you'll get a fiction book for i don't know like nine to twelve year olds or whatever you'll get a lift the flat book you will get um i'm trying to think off the top of my head what else is in the kit at the moment you get sticker books you get a little book that train whizzes around the book at the on as well so yeah you get 18 different books to show different series and things like that i've just grabbed a few books to really quickly show you in case you're not familiar with Osborne books um and to show what we have so I've, all, I've shown you quickly that that's not mine we'll go up in age um after that's not mine we do have the don't tickle books which if you haven't seen and you've got little children who like that's not mine they love this because they're still sensory but they've got noises as well so they are great 
And then at the end, they do have a bit of music where you can have a little boogie to as well. So yeah, and they also have an off button. Um, so we have pop-up books. This is our peculiar pop-ups dinosaurs book. I'm hoping you can see here. <laughs> Got a book on my shoulder. Um, peeking in the fridge. We have these kind of sound books. So there's a few buttons on each page. So that kind of sound book. What else have I grabbed here? We have got books for little readers. So for example, Billy and the Mini Monsters. These are great for young readers because um, there's not too much on the page to scare them off. When my little boy, um, he loves books, but he just really struggled with reading, really, really struggled with it. And this was one of his favourite series because I would read these pages and he would read um, the speech bubbles. And then when we would get to the comic book pages, he would like reading those as well. So it's that kind of thing. We've got Unipiggle, the little mischievous Princess P that gets up to mischief with her unicorn pig. <laughs> Um, and then we've got gaming books for older children, like choose your own adventures kind of gaming books. They're very popular. Anisha, Accidental Detective is just one of our funny series. Um, another one of our funny series is Fantastic Jenny Pearson's Record Smashers. So yeah, we've got a little bit of everything. I can't show you all now because I feel like you don't want to listen to me for 10 minutes. Um, so I've talked to you about commission, I've talked about your kit, I've shown you a few books. Um, you get lots of support as well. So obviously when you join Usborne, you are backed by a fantastic, huge family business. Everyone knows Usborne and loves it. And it has... Um, a website that you get login details for and you can log into that and we have what we call tools and downloads so there's posters you can print off if you need posters there's information you can read there's videos you can watch and they're all there for you to do at your leisure um my team myself have created um lots of little videos to show you anything you could possibly need to know so if you needed to know how to place an order um, you can watch a video on it if you needed to know how to stock check something you can watch a video on that there's so much information we do um, training sessions so you can work with schools and if you wanted to know how to work with schools um, we just hop online and do a little training session on what you can do with them you don't have to watch everything you don't have to watch anything it's just there if you need it you go in and type schools and lots of helpful stuff will come up for you um, obviously you've always got my inbox which you can jump in whenever you need to at all um, I have Osborne as my full-time job now and so I am always around for you if you need help and support to do anything. We also have a team group where um, you can just pop a question in there and you get multiple responses. Um, that's really good as well because let's say, for example, oh, I've been asked by a mummy um, if we have got any books for an eight-year-old about dinosaurs because her son is crazy about them. And you could put that question in the team group and you'd get loads of different responses of different people who have pictures to show you of different books that's another thing if you want to sell on social media we share loads of pictures inside books and things like that so you don't need to hold stock if you don't want to like the photos of all these books that i've shown you um i take beautiful pictures of them and i put them in there for you so you can just grab pictures and share them with people as well so yeah you literally could not want for anything you haven't just got me but you've got the whole team to help and support you as well lots of people find um Osborne gives lots of confidence as well because you, you'll start off thinking why well, I, I don't really i've never sold any books before i don't really know anything about it um but you really quickly get to know you've got your catalogue which is literally fantastic you just go to your index and search dinosaur and everything can come up um or have a flick through it um and you do get to know series really quickly and you have like your go-to series like peep inside i didn't show you one of those um that's a little um set of books that are on so many different topics for maybe like two to five-year-olds um and yeah that has always been my go-to series for that age group because i know that children love them and they cover they go from dinosaurs to the zoo to the nighttime to um i can't even think of all the topics 
<laughs> snowy places, bug homes, everything. So yeah, um, you will learn really quickly and grow in confidence as well. Please, please, please message me, talk to me, ask me questions. I nothing is a daft question. Please don't say, oh, I didn't, I don't like to ask. Nothing's a silly question. That is what I am here to help you with. So I hope this video has been helpful i tried to keep it short and i've hit 10 minutes so i am going to go but please do just drop me a message because it would be good to chat and i'm happy for a phone call if you want lots of people don't seem to like the phone anymore but i am more than happy to chat on the phone um and for you to ask questions and things um so yeah bye